Hey guys, Coach Captain Ian from Structure Personal Fitness going over one of our most effective glute exercises. This here is the pull through. I'm going to show you from two different angles, um, very similar in terms of the range of motion to a kettlebell swing, except the line of pull, meaning in, in which the muscles are stressed, is completely different. Okay? So, what we're going to do is using a rope, we're going to grab with both hands and an overhand grip. Okay? Sometimes people can put their thumbs on the outside if it hurts their thumbs. Okay? You're going to walk forward. Okay? Let the, the actual rope pull you backwards, sit into the hips, okay? push the hips out, knees out, and then forward. Okay? Notice the arms staying straight. Here's the actual tempo. Two, three, up, one. Down, two, three, up, two. Down, two, three, up, three. Okay? And again, making sure not to arch, making sure not to pull with your arms. Okay? That's from roughly the side. Now I'm going to go straight at you so you see the knee and the hip angle. Okay? So same concept, what you're going to watch for is to make, a, make sure you get a good grip. Okay? Walk forward with it. Slight lean forward so you don't get pulled backwards. From here, let the uh, rope pull you backwards and then push forwards. You shouldn't end up down here. That would put stress in the lumbar spine. Push the hips backwards, okay? opposite of your head, and then push forward. So hips backwards following your hands and then forward. Okay? One of the more effective exercises at utilizing the hips in addition to teaching the hip hinge. Okay? So that can be done with the rope, also be done with a band. You can also put that band right around your hips.